Hello and welcome to the Scatterful channel and today I want to show you guys five different gaming PC build templates you can create yourself for the month of July ranging from 500 to 700, 1000, 1200 and 1500 dollars. The $500 gaming PC build is going to be great for beginners if you don't know where to start with your first gaming PC. The $700 one is going to offer excellent bang for the buck performance especially for 1080p and the $1,000 and up builds are just simply going to be pretty damn fast. If at any point you'd like to go ahead and just skip and see the parts list of each of these PC build templates, then I'll have all of them linked in the description below that you're welcome to check out. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy my video. So starting at $500, this is again my beginner friendly budget gaming PC. And in terms of expected performance, get anywhere from like 1080p to 60 to 144 frames per second from like low to high settings, depending on the game. If you're planning to run a triple A PC title, then it might not fare the best on this computer, but if it's anything mainstream or free to play, like again, Fortnite, Apex Legends, Warzone, Valorant, League of Legends, CSGO, any of that, this PC will have no issue running those games at actually a pretty high frame rate. And if you wanna see the exact performance of what you might get here, then I recommend watching my $500 gaming PC build guide from a while back. I'll have that link in the description and as a card on screen, so you can see the exact performance metrics of what this can offer. So starting with the processor and graphics card, since they're all on the same chip, I'm going with an all-in-one processor, that being the Ryzen 5 5600G. And then for the motherboard, go ahead and pick up any micro ATX B550 motherboard of your choice, a 2x8 gigabyte kit of DDR4 RAM running at 3200 megahertz, a 500 gigabyte M.2 NVMe SSD, a $50 to $70 ATX mid tower PC case. It can be either micro ATX or ATX, it doesn't matter. And then a 650 watt semi-modular power supply just to be a little more future proof for a possible dedicated graphics card. This should put you at about $490 below the $500 limit. And if you wanted to follow the exact part list that I have in the description below, that parts list should be pretty faultless and you really shouldn't mess up on anything. And if you just wanna see how easy it is to build the Say This gaming PC, then again, check out that $500 gaming PC build guide that I posted not too long ago that shows an exact tutorial for how to build that. And you'll notice it's pretty short and brief because there's not much going on. Though in this case, you're actually using a semi-modular power supply. So all you need to hook up to the motherboard for power is the motherboard power connector and the CPU power connector. Because remember, we don't have a dedicated graphics card in this build, nor do we have any SATA powered hard drives or SSDs. So we only need to just power up the motherboard and that's it. It's way too easy to mess up. And on a side note, you could actually go ahead and spec out this exact PC part list yourself through Micro Center's PC Builder tool and even save some money in the process while doing it. And actually right now with all new customers only, Micro Center is offering an additional $25 off coupon with all AMD and Intel processors. And that's before an additional $20 off you can get through using say the 5600G with a compatible B550 motherboard. So you could potentially save up to $45 through building this gaming PC with Micro Center. Regardless, if you're a beginner and you live near a micro center, then I just recommend going there flat out because the staff there are quite knowledgeable on where to guide you for what in order to build your first or next gaming PC or more so you can see what's possible in the world with PC gaming while you don't let it overwhelm you. But if you've already got a gaming PC and you already know what's what with the world of PC building, then just an idea consider submitting your custom gaming PC build to Micro Center's Build Showcase because then you can actually get a coupon just for doing that for your next Micro Center purchase. So not to make this any longer, but there are a lot of advantages to shopping and building your first or next gaming PC through Micro Center. And if you wanna check out anything that I just mentioned, go ahead and check them out using the links at the top of the description. Okay, so next up we have the $700 bang for buck gaming PC and this has a dedicated graphics card and is going to be excellent for all around 1080p gaming performance ranging anywhere from 60 to 240 frames per second depending on the game and graphical fidelity. So for the processor I recommend sticking to an i3-12100F. 
For the graphics card, definitely get the Radeon RX 6600. This is by far the best budget graphics card on the market, or I guess I should say the most valuable graphics card because it still costs $300 but it's definitely the best in its price range and certainly better than the RTX 3050. Then for our motherboard, go ahead and pick up a micro ATX B660 motherboard of your choice that supports DDR4 RAM, another 2x8 gigabyte 3200 MHz DDR4 kit of RAM, another affordable 500 gigabyte M.2 SSD, and then for the case again, another affordable $50 to $60 micro ATX case or ATX case, it doesn't matter and then a 500 to 550 watt 80 plus bronze power supply since all we need to power up is that i3 and RX 6600. But if you wanted to anticipate any future upgrading of the graphics card to say one of the new RTX or Radeon cards potentially releasing this fall, then I go ahead and upgrade that power supply choice to either a 650 or more realistically a 750 just to support all of the wattage that those new graphics cards are going to require in order to run. So this should put you at about $700 in total. And once again, it's gonna be excellent for 1080p gaming. And if you have a 1440p monitor lying around, it wouldn't hurt throwing this computer against that as well. Though the next build I'm gonna show you is a little more ideal for 1440p gaming. For $1,000, this is gonna be a no questions asked 1080p gaming PC, as in you really shouldn't complain about any of the performance you're gonna get with this if you're just playing on a 1080p monitor. Like I expect 100 to 240 frames per second on many games that you're going to play, but this will be a decent 1440p gaming PC, depending on the game, maybe expect anywhere from 60 to 144 frames per second. So for the processor, we're actually going to upgrade to the i5-12400. This has an extra two cores and four threads, and it just all around is a slightly better chip than the i3, despite how good that i3 is for gaming actually but it is gonna cost a little bit more. But with the i5-12400F, I would recommend picking up an aftermarket CPU cooler, which I found out from my $700 gaming PC build guide because the stock cooler in itself with one exhaust fan just wasn't enough. So I go ahead and pick up an aftermarket cooler. And then for the graphics card, get yourself an RX 6650 XT. This is one of the better mid-range graphics cards on the market right now in terms of value and performance. And then for the motherboard, pick up an ATX B660 motherboard that supports DDR4 RAM, then a 2x8 gigabyte kit of 3600 MHz RAM, a one terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD, a 60 to $80 ATX mid tower, and then a 650 watt semi-modular 80 plus bronze power supply of your choice. And this should put you at about $1,000 total. So once again, this PC is the move if you are playing on a 1080p monitor and you don't want to worry about if you're not going to get like 144 frames per second or above on any game you throw out this PC because it'll definitely do that. And this could also dibble a little bit into 1440p gaming as well. But for our next gaming PC, our $1,200 PC build template, this will do really great at 1440p gaming. And actually I have to say it's a little more like 1250 bucks, but same processor, same CPU cooler, but for the graphics card, I'm choosing an RTX 3070 with eight gigabytes of VRAM. And surprisingly, these have been coming down in cost and they're actually only about $80 over MSRP, but still performing really well for the price in comparison to Radeon at the moment. The RTX 3070 will outperform the RX 6700 XT and sometimes the 6750 XT. So I just go ahead and jump right to that 3070 if you can, because that's a really well balanced card, more so than the RTX 3060 Ti, which costs about $80 less than this. So just skip that card and go right to a 3070 if you can, and you'll be very well set. Then once again, same sort of motherboard, RAM, SSD, case, but I go ahead and pick up a 750 watt semi-modular 80 plus gold power supply since you're on that 3070 and your system's gonna use more wattage with that card. And this should put you at about $1,230, but I'll give you an extra $15 since this is really a $1,250 gaming PC. Then to finish out this video, we're gonna be topping this off with a $1,500 gaming PC build that again, you can build yourself. And for the most part, this is the same as the last one but we're going to head and get a CPU, motherboard, and storage upgrade. So for the processor, I recommend you pick up an i5-12600KF. You're gonna gain a few extra E-cores, 
because this is technically a 10 core, no, not really, but it is gonna offer more gaming performance and it is overclockable thanks to the motherboard we're pairing in this build, that being an ATX Z690 motherboard of your choice. Though I'd stick it to a DDR4 motherboard in this instance because DDR5 Z690 motherboards are still pretty costly and not worth it in my opinion. So just get one of those and again, a two by eight gigabyte kit of RAM, but if you can, make it 4,000 megahertz for even more frames per seconds. So that is all I got to show off for my five PC build templates for the month of July. And again, if you want to check out the exact parts I recommend for each of these PC build templates, if you don't want to look up the parts yourself, I'll have all those linked in the description. Otherwise, thank you for watching to the end of this video. This is in a new filming space that I'm soon going to be totally perking out. It's just been a whole process with all these different things going on and house improvements kind of jumbled in with everything else. But once again, I want to thank you guys for making these videos successful and possible for letting me do this on a day-to-day. -day. So enough of that. If you like what I've made so far, do consider subscribing and liking on this video. But without further ado, thank you so much for watching. And this is the Scatterable Channel, signing out.